Today I'm going to be making a mini chocolate valentine's cake and here are the ingredients that we need. Three tablespoons of vegetable oil, three tablespoons of milk, four tablespoons of granulated sugar, four tablespoons of all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, one egg, one teaspoon of baking powder, and an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. So our first step, I'm gonna get my egg in there, and my oil, and my sugar. I'll grab my mixer, I'm gonna start mixing this up. This is a really fast recipe. Once that's mixed, I'll add in my milk, my salt, my baking powder, and I just want to mix that up. Okay, that's good. And now I'm going to sift in my flour and cocoa powder. This is a really fast recipe, as you can see and my cocoa powder, and I am using Dutch processed cocoa powder. You can use regular cocoa powder if you wish. And because this is cocoa powder, I just want to use the back of a spoon to get this through instead of touching it with my finger. There we go. And then we will mix this in. My oven is set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So just mix this until well combined. That's nicely mixed and now we are ready to fill our mold. What I have here is a 4 inch heart shaped spring form pan. I have lined it with parchment paper. So what I've done is I've sprayed the bottom and then I've applied my parchment paper to the bottom. This measures 4 inches by 1 and 3 quarter inches tall. So we'll fill this up. And I do have my oven set to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm just going to put this onto a little pizza tray into my 350 degree oven for 35 minutes. Alright, my cake has come out of the oven. It's very hot at this moment, so I'm going to let it cool down for about 10 minutes and then we will unmold it. Okay, so this is about 15 minutes later. I just want to quickly go around. I can feel that this is already coming away from the edge. But just to make sure we get a nice clean break, I just want to make sure. And then we will unpop this thing and try to get this out. And there we go. All right, I've just zoomed in. And then I'll just give this a little spin for you to check out. Oh, and it smells so good. And look at that cake inside. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, so good and it just smells really, really good. So I'm gonna grab this cake and I'm gonna cut this right in half. Because I am gonna be putting that dark chocolate ganache in the middle as well. So there we have our two sections. So we are now ready for our next step. So here is my dark chocolate ganache. This is ready to go. We've got the cake. So let's start getting this on. A little bit for the middle. I'll grab a palette knife. And then let's get this all on the top, just like this. Grab my spatula. And just a little bit of movement back and forth. And you just let gravity take over. I'm just going to tap this now. I just want to get most of the chocolate off. And then this is ready for the fridge. So I'm going to pop this into my fridge. I'm going to chill it down and then I'll be back in a little while. This is a whipped cream buttercream icing that I made in another video and I'll put a link to that underneath this video in the description box. The only thing that I've done is I've added a little food coloring 
to the frosting. And I'm just going to pipe on a nice rosette. Perfect. And for my last step, I have a little bit of red chocolate here that I have molded using a Wilton mold. And I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to slide that right into the top. Just like that. Perfect. And there we have it, my finished product. This is my mini chocolate valentine's cake with dark chocolate ganache. We have a whipped cream buttercream icing and a cute chocolate red heart. And just a quick note, everything that you see in my video recipe, I do have links for in the description box. That's it for this video, and I'll see you next time. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel, and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video.